Good day, Finch friends. The other day we started a project where we programmed our Finches using Scratch. We started by going to our apps and getting the Finch Connection app. Remember, if your app wasn't shown here, you simply clicked Google, typed Finch Connection app, and then you could view it from the web store and launch it. Since I've already got it, it lets me launch it there. When the app launches, you want to click Open Scratch. After a moment, it'll pop up the warning about the experimental nature of our cool finches. We need to say, I understand, and continue. And then we need to tell it, OK. Since we already started our LED project, we need to do File Load Project. And then we need to look in our Documents folder for our Project 1 LED. You may have also made a Finch folder. When you launch that, you'll find all of your cool creations that you connected to the keyboard last week. Today, we're going to make that even more epic, though, by turning it in to a remote control. Since we're making an epic remote control, let's go to our backdrop. Let's name our backdrop remote. And then let's click on convert to vector because we always want a vector. And remote controls are made of rectangles. So click the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle that looks like a remote control on the left side. Let's add a label up above it. Make sure your tools are on the right. That's how you know you did click vector mode. There's my word. Uh, and I'm going to call it Finch Remote. If you want to make it fancy colors, you can. I'm going to make the words up top a funky blue, and I'm going to make the remote a gray. Once you've completed that, it's time to add our first button. And we're going to paint sprites to make the buttons. When you bring it out, switch to convert to vector, draw a rectangle in the middle, and let's fill it with whatever color we choose by picking the fill button and fill. I'm going to make my colors light and then I'm going to put words on top of them for what they do. This one is going to be red. It'll look a little cooler I think if I actually make it red. So notice while you're typing you can change it. If not you can switch to the paint tool afterwards and take, uh, change it. Once you've got it built then we can move it on this screen to where we want. So I'm going to move it up to the top left. Once I've got my nifty little button created, it's time to go to scripts, go to events, and we can click when this sprite is clicked. And then we want our magic code to be sent. So we want it to do the color red. Remember we practiced this the other day. We just set the red to number 255. Make sure your finch is plugged into your computer like I've taught you. Hit the green flag just for giggles. And then try your when this sprite is clicked button. If your finch lights up like mine did, then you may move on to the next step. If it's not working, see if you can figure out what is stopping it from being successful. Alright friends, so when you've got your first sprite created, let's rename it by clicking info and let's actually call it red. So that way we can keep track of which sprite is which. And then let's duplicate it and let's make the next one. So when you click the sprite, start by right click info and name it your next color. I'm going to do green. I'm going to go back and then I'm going to edit its costume. And we want its costume to make it so it's going to show up green. So first I'm going to do my fill color. And I'm going to make it some crazy color for the background. And then I'm going to do the fill color green. And I'm going to take the word red and I'm going to make it green. And then because we did vector mode, you can simply click on the text, select the word that was there, and change it to green. And then use your pick tool to arrange it so it fits just the way you need for your button. Take your button and arrange it on the screen just the way it needs to be. Decide if you like the colors you chose. Uh, I don't think my green is what I want, so I'm going to try a different green and uh, see if I can get it so it's looking the way I want. Ooh, I like that a lot better. And then the last step is to go back to your scripts 
and make it so that that script does green instead of the color that was on it. And now when I stop and start, I've got two buttons that do different colors for my cool Finch remote. Your job at this time is to get at least eight buttons using the training that we did from our earlier LED project so that your remote does at least eight colors, including the cool random challenge and other cool ones that I integrated. So get to work and let's see who can make the most epic Finch remote. When you're done, make sure you click File, Save Project. When it asks for a name, uh, I would put a V2 so that we can keep track of which one is the new one. The next day we'll do V3 and so forth and so on. Good luck, friends, and let's make this critter epic.